Hi, I'm Julianne Cost. Let's take a moment to learn how to create a custom identity plate, not only to display in Lightroom Classic's library module, but also when you output and share your images. I'll use the Lightroom Classic menu to access the identity plate setup. On Windows, you'd choose the Edit menu. In the Identity Plate Editor, there are two preset identity plates. The first displays your Adobe ID, and the second shows the Lightroom Classic branding. As we make our changes, we can see the updates to the identity plate in the upper left-hand corner of the library module. To customize the identity plate, I'll select Personalized. Now we have the option, use a stylized text identity plate or a graphical identity plate. Let's start with a stylized text identity plate and I'll type in Photography by Julianne Cost. We can select a font, as well as a size, or we can type in a size, and we can click the color swatch in order to select a color. We can also select a portion of the text if we wanted to format it differently from the rest. When we're finished, we can select custom, and then save as, and give the identity plate a name, and then save it. Now, if we select custom, we can see that this preset has been added to the list. If I want to use a graphical identity plate instead, we can select the option and then click locate file. Now this document is 340 pixels wide and on the Mac, the maximum height should be 41 pixels. On Windows, the maximum height can be 46 pixels. I've positioned the top of the text at the top of the canvas to leave just a little bit of room between this graphic logo and the interface. Now this is a PSD file, a Photoshop document, but you can also use a JPEG or a GIF, a PNG, a TIFF file, a PDF on Mac, or a BMP on Windows. Okay, let's choose Custom and then Save As, and we'll give the identity plate a name, and then we'll save it. While this image fits nicely as the identity plate here in the library module, most likely it would be too small to use in the output modules, especially for print. So let's create one more preset using a larger, higher resolution file that we can use in the output module. I'll choose Locate File and select this PSD file that's about one by six inches at 300 pixels per inch. As we can see in the preview, it's too large to use in the library module, but let's choose custom and then save as, and we'll give this a name and then save it. Then let's choose that white text identity plate preset for the library module. Also notice that you can change the font, the size and the color for both the standard and the rollover state for the modular picker buttons. Then we'll go ahead and close the editor. Now, when we move to the slideshow module in the overlays panel, we can enable the identity plate and then click either the little triangle or anywhere in the preview area to select a preset. We can reposition the identity plate within the slide, anchoring it to the edge of the slide or within the slide. And we can also change the opacity as well as the scale. We can also edit our identity plates in the output modules. Let's click in the preview area and choose edit and we'll change to a styled text identity plate. And I'll just type in Lake Ear Australia, and then we could format it if we want. Now, because I'm not likely to use this over and over again, I'm not going to save this as a preset, but instead I'll simply click OK. Because it's a styled text identity plate, I can also choose to quickly override the color. I'll click on the color swatch and then make it gray. Okay, in the print module, we can use the page panel in order to add an identity plate. Let's click in the preview area, and this time I'll add the higher resolution version of my graphic identity plate. We can change the opacity as well as the scale, and we can drag to reposition this anywhere on the page. We can also use the watermark option to add watermarks to the images while we're using an identity plate. Okay, I'll toggle that off. If we want to add an identity plate over every image, we can choose edit 
and then change this style to a styled text identity plate, and I'll type in the word proof. I'll choose impact as the font in order to make it bolder, and increase the size. Then I'll choose custom and save as, and we'll give it a name and then save it. In the layout panel, let's get rid of the top margin. And then in the page panel, we can choose to render on every image and then change the size as well as the opacity. Finally, if we select the web module and we choose from one of the classic galleries, in the site info, I'll enable identity plate. Then we can customize the gallery, removing some of the text at the top just to simplify it. Excellent. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.